So how to promote your Avon opportunities and products with Facebook notes. Now this is something that um, I think can be helpful and throughout the year, not just during the holidays or anything, but I think it can be helpful. And in our, um, we've talked about Facebook notes before in our units. And so today we're going to talk about warming up your audience and going from cold traffic to, hot, uh, to warm traffic. And so, as I mentioned, this is something that I've been guilty of. I still do it sometimes. It says sometimes I feel like, oh, I just got to get a post out and I don't really think about what I'm doing. And then, you know, surprisingly, it's like nobody likes it. Nobody, there's no engagement. There's, no, um, there's nothing. There's crickets. But there is a way to warm up your traffic, to, um, to maybe engage them a little bit, and to inform them so that maybe they will make the leap to your e-store. And first, let's talk about what is cold traffic, what is warm traffic, and what is hot traffic. So cold traffic is someone who's scrolling on Facebook they're not even thinking about Avon. They might not even be thinking of <laughs> you. They might not, you know, they're just watching videos on Facebook. And then your, uh, your ad comes up, Avon. Well, they have, there's no connection. There's no, um, there's nothing there for them to engage in. So they're just going to keep scrolling. That's cold traffic. Warm traffic is someone who is aware of Avon they're aware of a problem that they have and they're aware of a solution that Avon offers. Let's say your eyelashes with the eyelash serum. They already know that they have short eyelashes and they're already looking for something to help them um, get those fuller lashes. And then the hot traffic is someone who's well informed. They're already on board. They, they know all the information. They're familiar with you and they're ready to buy or they're ready to take action. So when they see your post scroll in their feed, they're like, oh, there's this eyelash serum and they're going to click and they're going to um, want to go and purchase that product. So that is what cold and warm and hot traffic is. So what we're going to talk about is with our Facebook notes, we're going to try to warm up our traffic. and. This is the, the idea behind using Facebook notes. So you post in your feed, and first you put up, you know, the, uh, let's say you want to advertise or promote your Avon campaign, say campaign 23. So here we have our post. And we have Avon gift giving season is here. So we have, an, I, we have a little headline that's kind of engaging. It's a little intriguing. And then we say, check out the new sales and deals in campaign three. And then you take the link, you take them to your Facebook note. And what's going to happen on your note is that your note is going to have more information for them to warm them up, to get them familiar with Avon, to get them familiar with you. And then once they're warmed up, then there might be a, a better possibility of them taking the leap over to your e-store and purchasing or taking a look at the campaign that you're promoting. So then next, as we're talking about these notes, I'm not going to go over how to set up your note or or just the or how to use the notes because we do have that in our unit section in the online beauty bosses group and it's in units three and it's how to use Facebook as your Avon blog so that's going to show you where to find the notes it's going to show you how to set it up and how to how to use it but what we're going to do now is the next step how to go ahead and use this tool that can be valuable for your advantage in warming up your traffic. Okay, so first we're going to talk about promoting the Avon opportunity. And this is um, using your Facebook notes. And one thing I want to um, mention is that if you notice in this past slide here, 
they're all kind of cohesive. But the post that I put here has a picture of the lipstick. And then when you take them to the note, there is a picture of the lipstick. So in their mind already, they know that they're at the right place. So that is um, something that is good to keep in mind when you're making your posts and when you're going to take them to your note. The next thing is we're going to go and we're going to go to the browser and break it down and I'm going to show you all the different thing elements that can be added to the note to help engage the viewer and then also to start warming them up and getting them warm to the idea of possibly saying yes to Avon and taking you up on that Avon opportunity offer. So I do have the templates after our, our, um, our video and once I get the how-to up, I will have these templates up also for you because sometimes, you know, when you're looking at a note, sometimes what happens is that, um, you know, you're just looking at a blank page and it's hard to start. So these templates can help you um, depending on what type of promotion or what type of note that you're going to make. So let's go over to the browser and we're going to go to our note. Okay, so let's talk about the Avon Opportunity Note. So as I showed you, you have, you're going to post the actual post with the lipstick and um, these images you can get from your Avon Social. I was able to put this up really quick because all I did was I went to Avon Social and let me show you real quick where to go. Okay, so under your Avon Social, when you go to the Content Planner, and then Avon Facebook Covers, you'll find all sorts of covers here that you can use for your note. So this is exactly what I did. I just went to Avon Social, I clicked it, I downloaded it to my drive, and then I uploaded it onto the note. So this is the template Avon Recruiting. So first here, this is where you would put the title, and you would create a catchy title, something that's, that might, um, something that might make someone look at it and make, you know, build their curiosity. So here's an example, how to work from home and kiss your commute goodbye. And then so that would be the title, you would put it right here. And then you would put a headline. And this headline would either, you would either ask a question or you address a problem. An example would be, are you tired of building someone else's empire? And then you would put the paragraph. And you would um, talk more about, you know, this problem, more about, um, you know, are you commuting every day? You're working eight hours. You're working, eight, you know, overtime. Your boss isn't appreciate what you do. So this is the paragraph that you would support this question here. Now, something about paragraphs. When you do a paragraph, you want to make it short and to the point. And... You want to use hard line breaks to give your eye a rest. So if you notice, there's a lot of white space, so it's easy to read. You don't want your text to be um, crammed or anything. And so a hard break would be like, um, let me go to the edit here. A hard break, well, a regular break is just pressing enter and see how there's a big, a big uh, space there and then um, a hard break when you just want a little bit of space you would press the shift button and enter and it would make a it would make a smaller break so this is that's enter and then this is shift and enter so just something to keep aware of so when you're formatting your note and then we move on to this, the next headline, which is the solution. So now you talked about the problem. You have an emotional tug. You're getting them, you know, yeah, that's right. You know, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not being taken, you know, I'm not appreciated at work or whatever. And then so you're, then you're going to talk about the solution. And the solution, of course, is to join Avon. 
So this paragraph would be a short paragraph explaining why this is a good solution. And then after you do that, then you'd make another headline and you would list the benefits supporting the solution, like working at home, um, being able to pick your kids up from school, uh, being able to sleep in and not having to drive that commute, whatever it is, you know, whatever you want to say here, you put an image because you want to break the eye. You just don't want a bunch of words. So after every headline, make sure that you put an image so that it's appealing to the eye. And then your, your paragraph is going to be how the reader will benefit from the solution. So another benefit, you can put another additional benefit, and so forth. You can put as many or as little as you want. This is just a guide to help you get started and to help get those creative juices going. And then, um, then the next headline, you can put a personal element, you know, why... Um, what your why is, why you joined yourself or a testimonial from a representative who joined under you. And you can mention that you can, in this picture, it can be a picture of you. Um, it can be a picture of you working your Avon business. You can put a video, whatever you want to put here. And then the next one is to address common questions. So if you were new to Avon or someone was talking to you about Avon, what would be the questions, or if you're already a leader and you know the common questions that somebody would be asking, you can put these questions here. So you would put the headline, you know, address common questions, you put whatever headline you want regarding the questions, and then you would go ahead and list your questions and then the answers here. And then the lastly, your last headline would be the call to action. And so this is where you would have, um, you would tell them, you know, contact me today or um, learn more, sign up. And you would give your contact information and then you would give the link to your, to sign up over at your Avon Opportunity page. So this is a quick Opportunity page. It's just a template. It's a guideline. You can go through it when you make your note. And one thing that's kind of nice about this is that once you have it done, once you have it done, if you have an if someone um, calls you or texts you or you get an Alma lead and they're on Facebook, you can always just refer them to that page. Like if you say, you know, you let them know, hi, you call them, contact them, and then you can tell them, you know what, I have a page here on Facebook. If you're, And actually, if it's public, then they don't even have to be um, a member of Facebook. They can just see it publicly. So you can send them the link to that page, and they can get all the information that they want. And what's nice about your notes is that when you have a regular post on Facebook, it doesn't allow you enough room to put all this, all that information. So now you have, it's almost like a blog page, and now you have the opportunity to give them the information they need. And this, is, this could possibly warm them up to want to take that leap. So this is the template on the opportunity page. We're gonna, now you're going to share your catalog. So you're going to um, want to have an image of the catalog or a post from Avon Social that shows the cover of the catalog. And then when they take them to the note, you're going to use the Avon Social cover, Facebook cover for the title um, that will also be the same. So it's, it's cohesive. You know, they, they, the eye knows, the person who's visiting knows that they're at the right place. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, um, about the campaign highlights. So here is your note for the campaign highlights. And in the title page, in the title here, again, you'll put your catchy title, like Avon campaign, you know, campaign 23 steals and deals inside. Now here's a tip. And this is what I, I, I just thought of it. I don't, I don't know why I haven't done it before, but I was getting um, the emails that Avon sends you from your online store, because as we mentioned, you're going to sign up for your own emails. 
you can get inspired by their um, their headlines, their email subject lines. So like this was a subject line that came in when campaign 23 started and, and I kind of changed it a little bit, but Avon had um, steals and deals inside. So if you're having a hard time thinking of a catchy headline, use Avon's example. Go to your inbox, take a look at the subject lines, and try to use one of those and see if that works, if you get any engagement because of, with that title. So then again, um, you have your title, you have your Avon Social cover here, and then your headline after the title is you're going to point out what's unique in the campaign. Example, you're going to love you know, whatever, the new iconic lipstick. So you're going to love whatever's on the, the cover is a, good, is a good start. And then you'll put your image. And then um, underneath the image, you'll put the link to the campaign catalog. And then you'll put your paragraph. And this new paragraph is briefly going to talk about the theme of the catalog, the cover image, or use a list to point out what you'll be covering. And then you'll go ahead and use another headline. You can use bullet points. This helps break up the eye also. Remember to make your paragraphs short. Um, use the hard line breaks. Use bullet points and add images or video to help break the eye so that it's not just a bunch of words. And then um, you'll put another image. This is about the featured product that's in the catalog. And then... Um, You'll highlight the product or the offer if it's on sale, if it's a something that you know will sell out quick, you know, whatever you want to say about the featured product. And then you'll put see more and you'll link, you'll put a link to your online store. It's going to go directly to the product page. It's not going to go to your home page. It'll go directly to the product page. So, um, I'll click it and see it went straight to the product page. So this is going to help your customer make that leap. You're informing them, you're engaging them, they're reading about it. And then later on, as you're continuing through this campaign highlights, you can start putting some select um, sales, like you know the, a Skin So Soft sale or a category department sale, like Bath and Body, Skin Care. So you can put as many sales as you want. Um, here I would put like, you know, Bath and Body, Avon Bath and Body, Avon Bath and Body sales. And then I put the offer here, and then I put another one, and so forth. And then the next headline would be your campaign dates and the call to action. So this would this is at the end. So you would put like campaign 23 will be will be available, and then you would put the dates from the day it starts to the day it ends. And then you'd put another link, click here to shop the campaign. And then you would put your contact info. So this will be up as a, um, a template for you also in our online beauty brosses group. And um, okay, so let's go now to, let's go now to the next one, which is the product. And the next one is how to promote a product. So again, you're going to put your product in your feed in the post, and that post image is going to match or be similar to the note image. That way they know that they're at the right place when they make that click. And your headline could be something like, I just discovered this magic serum and my eyelashes are popping. You, you won't want to pass this up. So you could put something like that. Just think of, you know, go to your inbox, see if Avon has it has sent you any emails regarding the product that you're going to promote. So now let's go to this breakdown on this note. And we're going to go to the browser again. And here's the template for the product. Now I'm using the mascara or the eyelash serum. But this can be any product. It could be the bath oil. It could be your skin care, the Anew. So um, this is just, but you can still use the same template and the same um, elements in this one as well. So again, the image is the Avon Social Facebook cover. Your title 
that you would put a catchy title, How to Get Lashes You'll Love. And this was actually an Avon email subject title. So I just, I grabbed that from my inbox, my email. And then the next headline would be a question or addressing a problem. Like an example, are you tired of your wimpy lashes? And then you would, you would create a paragraph and you talk more about the problem, preferably with an emotional tug and a personal element. Remember to make your paragraphs short and to the point, hard lines, images, videos, and so forth. And then the next headline would be the solution. And we all know what the solution is. It's the a new clinical unlimited lashes and the mascara. And again, these images are all from Avon Social. You can just plug them in. And then in this paragraph, you'll put the explaining why it's a good solution. And then the next segment would be the headline benefit supporting the solution. And then how the reader, the paragraph, you'll talk about how the reader will benefit from this serum. And then as we continue, you can continue adding more benefits or you can start with your personal or your customer testimony. And the more um, personal images you have of yourself, like a before and after, um, you know, a video of you using the product, this is a good place to make that so it's more personal and engaging because people want to see who they're going to be buying from. So always keep that in mind. Um, you know, the less, uh, what, how can I say it? Like the less corporate and the more personal it is, that people like that. So try to put your own personal images if you can, uh, personal video, how to use the product or, or, or a testimonial or tutorial. So you can put that in this section. And then the headline, the next headline is address common questions about the product. And in our what's new, Avon had a whole bunch of questions. So you can use some of those if you want, some of those questions and answers. And then this is a, also a good time to do like a tutorial if you want. You can put a video up here of how to use it or ask addressing those questions. And then this headline would be a product, the product price or sale or special offer info. So now you're you're finishing up the the um, the note, and now you've informed your customer, and now you're letting them know. Okay, so now you can get all this, and now it's going to be a great price because. Um, you know, it's half off or you're going to get a freebie or whatever the special offer is for that campaign. And so you'll list the current price, the special offer, and then you'll put the link to the product page right here. And so it'll go directly to the product page, you know, get more info, order now, however you want to say this, you can make that a link. And then the last one is the call to action. This is the real call to action now. This is just the link. But now you're going to say, you know, visit my online store to purchase, contact me for a sample or order now. And you'll give them all the information and then your, um, your link here. So this is the template for the product. So we have how to share the Avon opportunity. We have how to share the Avon opportunity. And then we have the template on how to share your Avon brochure and then how to share your product. So like I said, I'll put these all up in the, um, in the group. And then the next thing is that we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk how to share this note now. So now you've spent the time to, to go ahead and you've created your note, and now you're going to share it. And the thing with notes, the thing about notes is that they cannot be boosted. So if you want to boost it, if you want, like let's say you want to share the Avon opportunity, you want to share the Avon Christmas catalog, then you'll need to boost the post. You're going to create your post like I showed you, and then you're going to put the link of the note in the post. So this is how you do it. <clears throat> All you do is you just take the link on the top of your browser. If you're in your, I, it's a lot easier for me to work on my laptop when I'm doing this type of stuff. If you're used to working it on your phone, 
you know, more power to you. But for me, I, I, it just seems to be easier on my laptop. So that's why my, um, that's why my screenshots show the laptop. But all you do is you highlight it, and then you can go to Bitly. Bitly is a link shortener, and you can go ahead and plug in that long, um, that long web address into Bitly and shorten it. And then you can go ahead and put it into the note or into the post. And so that little bit.ly link will take them to the note. So, <laughs> so I hope that makes sense. But um, that's kind of like the workaround because the, the notes are not um, boostable. They are shareable, though. You can just share a note in a group anywhere you want as long as it's public. If you have a closed group, and you're trying to share out of the closed group, the public will not see it. So it has to be a public post either on your personal profile that has the public or on your business page that's public as well. Or you, if, you're, um, if you're members of like community groups, I know where I live, there's like so many community groups. There's yard sale groups. There's uh, buy and sell groups. I mean, there's all sorts of groups, news groups, whatever. So if you belong to a lot of community Facebook groups, if you post that, that post, if you share it to that group, then you could take them to, um, it'll take them to your note as well. So that's, um, how you can use the Facebook notes in a little more, um, strategically so that possibly you can engage those viewers and your audience on Facebook. So now the next, um, the next thing we're going to talk about is our quote for the day. So the quote for the day is, never give up, keep learning and keep plugging away. I know it's a simple quote and the person who says that is me. <laughs> so this is something that I I always say, you know, if someone asks me or, you know, and, and you've heard it before, consistency is key and blah, blah, blah. But the reason why I used this quote today was because something came up in my Facebook feed yesterday and it just kind of made me laugh because, well, let me show you what came up in my Facebook feed. Nine years ago, I guess I was just getting on Facebook or something and you know, I was trying to figure it out and I was so frustrated and I posted, what's the deal with live feeds and news feeds? I'm confused. But now 10 years, nine years later, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've, we've, I've come a long way. Um, and so basically what I'm trying to say is that we all start somewhere. You know, that, that post is a perfect example of my day one. My day one of trying to figure things out. My day one of, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. But now, you know, flash forward nine years later with consistency, you know, plugging away, learning, and just not giving up. I can look back and say, oh, wow, that really was a journey that, you know, I have a day one, but look how far, you know, I've come. And this is something that Sometimes we forget when we're in the middle of that journey, when we're in the middle of that struggle, when it's so frustrating that, you know, we just want to give up. So I encourage you all to um, just keep plugging away, keep learning, you know, don't give up. Just um, you're going to learn more the day that you from one day to the next. And then every little bit is going to um, is going to. Uh, add up. So I just wanted to leave you with that a little bit of encouragement. This whole online thing, I know it can get confusing. It still can look at, I had the technical difficulties today. And, um, you know, that's just part of online. So you just kind of to take it with a grain of salt and you just move on. And I know for the next time that um, I'll have to double check the slides and double check and double check. And that's the same thing with online learning, with online, you know, working your business. Just uh, learn from the mistakes and pick yourself back up and keep going. And then when you look back, you'll see how far you've really gone. So thank you for joining me this Friday night. Um, 
boy, this was a long one. <laughs> but thank you for joining me this Friday night. And if you have questions, please post them in the comments. And um, I will get this uh, how-to up in hopefully by the end of next week and I'll have it seamless where all the uh, you know the technical stuff will, will be nice and easier for you to watch but thanks everyone have a good weekend and we will see you um, see you in the group okay bye bye